Okay, sorry about that, you all. I did not know you guys could hear me the whole time. So let me start over. So I'm doing, I'm trying out this live thing. I never went live on YouTube before. So if there's any issue, please let me know in the comment section below because I've never done it. I've been practicing for a couple of days just to make sure everything goes smoothly. And yeah, now we're testing it. But I'm about to do a little balloon mock-up. Nothing specific for an event. You guys can suggest colors for me. Pick three colors and I'll use them. I'm just going to do a simple little mock-up and walk you guys through how I do them. Just real simple, nothing too hard. So I'm going to make a, a balloon garland over this arch backdrop. I'm gonna start over, show you guys how I got the arch and all that. So suggest three colors in the comment section for me and then I'm gonna just work with those three colors. I'm gonna show you guys how to get the balloon colors and all that good stuff. Deal? I'm gonna start over completely. So I am using canva.com. So when I go on canva.com, then I click on create design. And then I choose a presentation. I'm going to be using a blank presentation screen. And it's supposed to look like this. I didn't I don't have like um any set template from like Etsy or whatever so I'm going to go in and create my own backdrop and show you guys how I um get the balloon colors to look realistic in a certain way. So I have the blank presentation screen right here. What I like to do especially when I'm doing arch backdrops, I click on element and then I type in arch. And one thing with Canva, they have a lot of shapes and sizes for you to choose from. So I just go in and type in arch. And it normally gives me the same exact shape of the arch backdrop that I use. So all I do is just widen that a little bit, make it bigger. And you have the option of um, changing the color of the backdrop or adding a a background or some type of pat pattern to it. I might just go ahead and use a blank color instead of adding any type of, what is it called, patterns to it. But let me show you guys how you can add a little pattern to the backdrop. Oh, and they also have these. Do you guys see these type of backdrop? These are like the new arch backdrop that I see everyone using now. You could add another one of it like that. I love these backdrops. I have an event coming up actually that I have to use those backdrop. But yeah. But let me see if I can add a little pattern to it. Hmm. Let's try a flower wall. Mm, these are very busy. No, I'm going to just go ahead and use a blank slate. So I'm going to make the backdrop um, black. Just put it right there just so I have space to put my garland on top and on the side. So I'm going to just leave it like that. No one want to suggest any balloon colors for me? No. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and use black and black, silver, and gold. All right. I'm going to show you guys how I get the balloons to look very realistic on my mock ups. All right, 
So what I like to do is I like to go on Google and like type in the color that I'm looking for. Somebody said red, yellow, and blue on this backdrop. Red, yellow, and blue. Okay, I can do that, but I'm gonna have to change the background just so it looks better. So I'm gonna change the color of the background and make it like, say like a light gray. Yeah, and then I'm gonna change the color of the arch to be white, just so you can see it better. So red, yellow, and blue, perfect, I like that. So to get the balloon colors to look very realistic, what I like to do is go on Google and like type in the 24 inch or the 36 inch of that specific color because it gives you a, a perfect round shape. If you use like a, if you use like an 11 inch image, like these, then it won't be as round, even though we're gonna be putting it into a round shape. But I like using like the 24 inches or the um 36 inches. So go in there, say 36 inch wallet text or tough text or whatever brand you like to use. You can type in the specific color actually that you want. So I'm going to and type in 36 inch Qualitex red. And it gives you all these colors. I click on images. Then I choose the color that I want. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one. I like to use the ones with a little shine on them because it makes it look more realistic. And I'm gonna just save it to my computer. And I'm gonna repeat the same steps for the other colors. And use yellow, red, yellow, and blue. Very specific. <laughs> okay, so Qualitex yellow right here. I want to use a clearer image. Wait. Right. Use a yellow. If you guys have any questions while I'm doing this, you can just type it in the, the comments section and I have it here on my other screen. I'll be able to read it. And then blue, is there any specific shade of blue? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go with a dark blue. Cause it will look better. All right, I want this. No. What's going on? Stop. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's taking me on eBay, really. Okay, I'm gonna just save the image from here. So I have all of the colors saved to my computer now, as you can see on the side over here. I have the red, the yellow, and the blue. And now I'm gonna go back on Canva. Let me close out all these screens. I'm gonna go back on Canva on my presentation. And then I'm going to click on Element. I'm using Canva Pro, by the way, but all the features I've been using so far is available on the free version of Canva. So I have this circle right here that I um, chose from the frames under elements. And what I do is normally just drag the pictures that I saved off of Google. I'm gonna save all three of them. I like just lay them out right here. Oh, why is that blue so ugly? I don't like that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to choose another blue. I don't like that blue. It's very ugly. That's the thing with saving images from Google sometimes. It like it gives you an ugly shade. It um it doesn't give you a clear picture. Like the quality is so off sometimes. I'm gonna try going in get a better picture not from ebay again please no
Let me see if I can get it from the actual Qualitics website. Or one from LA Balloons right here. Hello everyone who's just joining the live. Welcome, welcome. You're not too late. All right, so I got another blue right there. All right, perfect, that is way better. All right, as I was saying earlier, I have all the three images that I saved from Google. I got the circle frame from Elements under here. And all I'm doing is just dragging it inside the circle and like making it big just to fit perfectly in the circle like that. So now I have my first balloon right there. And I'm gonna repeat the step with all of these. Just open a frame, drag your image, make it wider. Now do you understand why I use the 36 inch or 24 inch balloons? Because it gives it this perfect round shape. Oh my gosh, this blue is so ugly too. This red, I mean. What is going on? Let me get another one from um this website. I don't know, these images off of Google have such bad quality, hate it. All right, going back in Canva, deleting that one, get the new image. All right, dragging it, dropping it into my circle frame, widen it. Right there, and you see that it has the glossy look, that's what makes it look like real. Same thing for over here. All right, you guys. So now I have the three colors that I'm using. I don't know. This, this, these colors are given very much like circus theme. Is that what you, what you was trying to do? Is that the look you was trying to go for, circus theme? All right, now do I now that I have all of my colors set, it's time to start building the garland. What I like to do is like do one color at a time, or I will create like garlands from each colors and also the little small balloons from each color, the fillers, and then I just add them. So I'm gonna show you guys that one because it's pretty easy. It's the easier way to do it. So I'm gonna start with the red. You can click up here where it says duplicate or you can just copy and paste the color over and over. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, just random colors. I got you. I like it. It is bright. I like bright colors. All right, so I like to make my garlands in clusters of eight. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing with my mock-up just so it, you know, it gives it that real look, like as if it's like my my actual work. So I'm gonna make clusters of eight with these balloons. All I'm doing is just copy and paste and duplicating. Also in Canva, you can just choose to put the, whatever it is, the image backwards or pull it forward or whatever. So that's what I just did. Remember, it's an organic garland, so you don't need all your balloons to be the same size because who does that? When you're making a garland, you don't need all your balloons to be the same exact size. So I'm making some big and some small. So that's five, and I need three more, two, three. And then I'm just making them random sizes, but at the same time, making them look realistic. You can play around with it. Just make sure that you have a perfect cluster. 
it's very time consuming, y'all. If y'all want to do this, make sure you guys are charging your clients to do it. Because it's very time consuming. Especially if you're a perfectionist like I am, then I know you definitely want your work to look perfect. Okay, almost there. I'm just trying to create like a perfect cluster. I know I'll be adding 16 inches in my um in my cluster, so I'm trying to make some of the balloons big to imitate the 16 inches that I would add in my cluster. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right, just say this is one cluster. You can either copy it and duplicate it just so you have your one cluster. I like to put them like aside. Let me close right here. I like to like put it aside just for later. And it will basically be like the same cluster I use for the whole entire thing. You can like highlight the whole thing and make it smaller just to fit your um your backdrop. And when it's on the backdrop you can go in again and like play around with it. Remember, y'all, if you have any questions, you can just drop it in the comment section. All right. All right, so that is my first cluster. Okay, that's my first cluster. I'm gonna go in and make my other cluster using another color. So I think I'm gonna do yellow next. So repeating the same steps, just let me leave that over there. I always keep the color on the side because I know I'm gonna need them later. You also have the option to make the cluster like on the frame. I'm gonna do that one for you guys. This is how I first made my mock-ups. I used to just make it on the frame over here. Duplicating that, duplicate, duplicate. I'm making clusters of eight, remember? Ugh. Oh, these yellows are so bright, like I can barely see it. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another one, eight. Make that put that in the back like so. Mm -hmm. This thing really do take a lot of time, you guys. That's how we charge for this. Or we don't do it at all. <laughs> Okay. 
Why are you making the other clusters? You you're gonna always end up making adjustments to your first ones. Okay, I'm gonna just make that the second cluster. Try to save it. Copy, paste. Saving that over there. All right, I'm gonna go in and make the other cluster and just duplicate that. Okay. Are you asking if I include the design price into the invoice? If you're asking if I include the design price into the invoice, only I I don't I don't create a mock-up for all my events if i'm doing like a big event where i have to create like multiple backdrops or a very big backdrop a really customized one then i already know that i'm going to be making a mock-up for that so i normally just include it in their invoice but if it's like just a backdrop then no i won't create a mock-up probably draw on paper using or use the the marker on my iPhone and just scribble something and send it over to them to make it to make them know exactly what they're getting. But on, I don't create mock up for all of my events because that is just time consuming. I don't know if that answered your question. I hope it did. I made a live. You made a live. What do you mean you made a live? Okay. So I feel like I made all of these too big. <laughs> All right, hear me out. Let me just make this a little smaller. I think I was going in too big. I think she was just saying she made it to a live a live stream. Yeah. 
You're welcome. I like you guys. <laughs> I recently started doing mock up guys, so I'm not like a I'm not like the mock up queen or whatever, but I be knowing what I'm doing a little bit. Just a little something. And I like to share, so that's what I'm sharing with you guys. It ain't nothing to share a little bit of information, you feel me? So I create my garlands and like put it over to the side right here just so I don't have to start over from scratch. I already have my garlands pre-made, my clusters pre-made over the side. That is why I do it. It helps us to save on time too. I like to make some of these balloons big. I like to have big balloons in my in my garlands. Like so, like so, like that. If y'all have any questions, you can go ahead and ask. I'm reading the comments. I have the, I have another screen set up over here. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm missing another balloon. Just grab it. These balloons are looking too much like the same size over here. I gotta fix that. Make some big. Okay. All right. That's another cluster. Okay, so I'm gonna add these other two, and then that's just gonna be it for. The base. This is still the base, you guys. Uh, let me duplicate this one before I use it. So I'm putting it right there, making it a little smaller. I can, I can send it. We're sending it back. Okay. How much would you guys charge to do this for your client? Let me know. One, two, three, four, five. Are you talking about the mock-up or, or the whole design? <laughs> I think you're talking about the whole design, right? Three fifty to five hundred, depending on specialty balloons. Yeah, sounds about right.
Yeah. I think this little design is given like very much Toy Story theme. So I'm gonna try to find a little sign that will fit it perfectly. But yeah, 350 to 500 for sure before installation and um, delivery fee. Like I have a little arch like this that I made myself, cut it and everything. I got the wood from Home Depot and I cut it into an arch so that it could fit perfectly in my car. And it, it's my cheapest backdrop because I don't care how how big I get in the business. I like I like to I like to offer affordable prices. That's the only reason that's the only reason I started my company in the first place. Because I want to give, you know, everyone an opportunity. Well, I can't give everyone an opportunity because I cannot accept everyone's little budget. But I like to have options for almost everyone. Just so, you know, when people want to celebrate a special occasion or their special day, I don't want to, I don't want to be like, nah, if you don't have a thousand dollars, I can't, I can't help you. I like to have options for everybody. So I have a little arch backdrop like this. It's my cheapest option. I started at $300 with it. And nobody ever paid $300 for it because they want to add sign and like um, cute balloons and all that. But it's my cheapest option. <laughs> what program am I using? I'm using Canva. The link is in the description of this live. With PVC, see, I don't like using PVC for anything. I know a lot of you guys like to use PVC for like your columns and, and stuff. I just, I do not like using PVCs. When I started like back in 2012, I used to have stands made out of PVC and they used to give me hell. I could not wait to find a better option. And as soon as I did, I switched over I don't like using PVCs. I use wood now. And I bought a saw like last year and I've been cutting ever since. Like nobody can tell me nothing. I be cutting everything now. I made all my arches. If you guys look on my Instagram page and see like arch backdrops, I made all of those on my balcony. And I live in a little apartment in California and we have a balcony. And that is where I cut all of my arches, me and my girlfriend. Yes, I know our neighbors get annoyed with whatever. We try to do it in the daytime, but I don't like using PVCs for anything. They give me hell. I feel like when I used to make it, when I used to use PVC for my columns and I put the balloon on, I feel like it would just slide right out of the, the base. It was so annoying. I know you guys, I know it's like advanced methods now and stuff, but I don't see myself using PVC for anything, but I definitely use wood. Space is limited. Yes. Girl, I have two storage spaces and my apartment is still packed. <laughs> if you look at my apartments, like I literally, just bought a an, another shelf last night. I have a a bookshelf now, and I just stacked up all of my balloons on there and stuff. But my apartment, I, all my closets have totes of balloons. I have flowers, everything. Like it's a struggle, but it's a part of the business. Okay, so this is basically the garland. And now that you have your little base, you can go in and like make your balloons, make some of your balloons big just to, you know, give it that little effect. I know, I know most of us or garlands are thicker than this. So instead of adding like more balloons, I like to stick with the eight per cluster and just make some of them big, some of them really big just to make it look like it's the 36 inch balloons, the three feet balloons, instead of adding a whole, a whole um, balloon, instead of adding more balloons, I meant, 
I like to just go in and like make some of the balloons like really big just to give it that effect. Cause it's just a mock-up, you know, just make try to make it look as close as to what it would look like when you actually do it. But it mock-ups are basically just to give the client an idea of what they're gonna be getting. Like you don't have to thrive to make it look exactly like how you gonna do it on the day of the event but you don't want it to be far off or you don't want to give them a real a unrealistic mock-up, something that you know you probably cannot do. Make sure that your, your mock-ups look like something that you, you know, you can actually do because no, we don't want to do any like false advertisement out here. Yeah, I just like to go in and play with it. If you're a perfectionist like I am then, You'll, you'll never get satisfied. <laughs> I could sit here all day and play around with this mock-up and I probably still won't get exactly what I'm looking for, but that's just me. That's just me. Okay. But I'm gonna show you guys how I make like the what is it called? The filler balloon, the five inch balloons. Oh no, let me put that back. I'm just putting my garland back over here. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how I made my filler balloons because when you add your filler balloons or whatever, it's gonna bring it off. If you're new to the live, I am using canva.com. The link for it is in the description box. I'm using the pro version, but all the features that I'm using right now is available in the free version. Okay. All right. So basically repeating the same steps of how I created the clusters. I'm just duplicating the colors. And I use, when I make my fillers, I use clusters of four. So I'm just using four little, let me make these smaller because I need the space. I need the space over here to add my fillers. All right, so I'm just taking four of the balloons that I made over here. I'm putting them in the, the filler position, then I'm gonna make it smaller. Then make it smaller, 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 like so. And now I have my little filler. If you make your fillers with more balloons, then all you have to do is just add more balloons. I'm gonna just add one so you guys can see it. The computer try to freeze up on me. Yeah, basically, if you make your fillers with more balloons, then just add more balloons. That's all. Okay. All right, I don't know my, my MacBook trying to freeze up on me. Don't do this right now. I have to zoom in a little bit because I'm somewhat blind. See, I don't mess around with Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, I'm creative, but not. I'm not no graphic designer. I do not mess around with Photoshop. My girlfriend has the program, and I tried it once to create like a flyer, and my head was just spinning. And I'm like, yeah, you see, I'm not doing it. I like Canva. Canva is for the rookies. All right, so y'all, I just I just put uh, a duplicate of the cluster over here. 
the little filler because I'm gonna need it for to add more. So all I do is just drag it to where I need it, like up here. Make sure it's forward, just change the position. So I put it right there, highlight this, duplicate it again. Oh, let me fix down here. This is ghetto. Okay. All right, add in another cluster down here. Make sure that the position, you pull it all the way to the front. Yep. What happened over here? Oh, I think I duplicated on top of each other. Sorry. All right. that take another cluster and I'll like drop it right there and you can make it smaller I don't like this one I gotta put it up somewhere You can ask a question right here. You guys can ask any question right here right now. I'm gonna answer them. I have a little bit of time. Okay, I'm going to repeat the same step for the other clusters, just duplicating them. Create your little filler, copy, and paste. Do the heat from the bulbs melt the foam board? What bulb? Are you talking about the glue gun? What do you mean bulb? Oh, from like making the marquee numbers using the the foam board? No, it, it doesn't it doesn't melt the foam board, my love. I've only made the marquee number once and it was for that one video. I moved on to wood after that, but I it never melted the foam board. No, it didn't melt the foam board. I hope it don't. <laughs> no, it doesn't melt the foam board because the bulbs, the bulbs, they don't get that hot. 
Because if they did, then they will pop your balloons if when you add like balloons around your marquee numbers. It's the same number, it's the same bows we use for the marquee numbers. And if it was too hot, then they will pop the balloons when we put them around the marquee number. So no, they don't they don't melt the foam board at all. And foam board is foam board is actually still paper. So melting paper is kind of hard or weird. So no, I never experienced that. Never heard anyone say their phone board got melted. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm gonna duplicate this little filler right here. Cut it right here. And move it to the side, just so I can have it to use later on. All right, highlighting this. Making it a little smaller to add to my garden. And I'm gonna like drop it right here. I can make it a little smaller too. Bring it up. And then duplicate that one again. Drag it to where I want it. Probably just put it right here. Oh, by the way, I'll give you guys a little tip. When you're adding like fillers, and stuff make sure that you add them like kind of after you add your special balloon if you're using orbs then put your orbs on before you add your your fillers in and when you're adding your fillers you put them closer to your special balloons it like i don't know i don't know how to explain it but it looks so much better next to next to your special balloons and jumbo balloons that's that's what i like to do i like to put my fillers real close to it or right next to it because as soon as someone look at your garland they're going to be seeing the special balloons first hi kizzy Oh, my aunt name is Kizzy. I don't know too many people with that name. Nice. See, I can't see the yellow, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I feel blind a little bit. Why is the yellow so hard to see? Okay. Great, that's cute. gonna highlight that duplicate it and then I'm gonna save it to the side that is how I like to do it you guys can actually do all of this beforehand like you can create all your clusters and all your fillers before you actually start on the backdrop it, it actually would make it it'll make it less difficult for you Should I? Should I add special balloons? If if yes, please suggest some. Like what I I was thinking to make this a uh, Toy Story because it the colors are like fitting for that theme. 
tell me what special balloons you think will look perfect on this garland. Mm, the yellow is so difficult to see. You can't really see it. It sucks. But yeah, guys, tell me what special balloons you like me to add to this garland. Mmm, Sesame Street. See, I feel like Canva would probably have more characters for Sesame Street. Well, yeah, I like the Sesame Street idea. Thank you. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I am so nervous, you guys. You guys probably don't know that I'm a really shy person. And that's why it took me this long to ever do lives. I don't know, but doing YouTube really helped with like, with like my shyness. I needed to get over that. I'm, it's, it's still a work in progress. But I'm a little nervous being here right now. Okay, I'm going to add another red filler. Oh dear. Mm. Yeah, it's just a struggle, <laughs> especially being a business owner. You guys ever see like these um these like other balloon artists or event planners when they like create reels and they like have their face in it and all that? I'm not at that level yet. I be trying. I post one and two reels like that, but I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Imagine being that like bold or outspoken. I'm trying. I'm trying. One day we're gonna get there. One day. I know it. It. It like. It hinders. It hinders a lot of us from like, you know, growing our business, especially in these days and time when you have to like create content to attract more clients and stuff. Like you need to be a little more personal with your clients or put your face out there and, you know, showcase you. But it's not easy when you're a shy person. You guys see when I like upload a lot of tutorials and stuff, you guys don't even see my face because a lot of times I record, my face is like actually in the video, but when I'm editing it, I'm like, you know what, they don't need to see my face. My face don't matter in this one. I'm going to just, I'm going to just cut my face out and show you guys what I'm doing, you know? A lot of times that's what I do. <laughs> but I've been trying recently, I've been trying to put like my face in there more and like talking in the camera instead of doing voiceovers. It's a work in progress. Okay, so that's basically it for our um, garland. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you guys say Sesame Street. Let me see what type of like image Canva has for Sesame Street. Mm -hmm. 
do they have anything? What is this? Oh. I knew they probably wouldn't have anything. I probably have to get stuff off of Google. I put sesame, they thought, they thought I was talking about sesame seeds. <laughs> no, boo. Okay, so Canva doesn't have much to offer when it comes to Sesame Street, so we probably gotta go over to Google. <sighs> and try to see what they have like in images. And try to create like a little name sign for the backdrop. Oh, I know what I could do if they allow it. Like I can take their sign and like add a name. Oh, maybe type Elmo. Let's try Elmo. Thank you for that suggestion. <laughs> I feel like Canva can't like have a lot of, they don't, they can't legally have like images of some stuff. So that's probably why we can't find any characters because they can't legally have it. Sometimes if you type in some Disney characters in Canva, it doesn't show up anything because I think it's just some legal stuff. Yeah. So I think I want to do something fun. So I'm going to take the Sesame Street sign and I might just add like a random name to make it seem like a happy birthday brand man or whatever you know oh let's see what type of balloons like if anagram has any like balloons that i could probably add okay so they have elmo period cookie monster okay do it at your own pace. You're very relatable. I just wish this quickly the magnet. My name you put together were a little stressful, but they Oh my gosh. I'm glad you bought it. But yes, the, the other magnets they like stick together, but they're a cheaper option and they work the same way. I will probably just when I when when you order them and they get delivered, I will just probably sit down and put them all together and then keep them and like store them like a certain way, but they stick together and it makes it so difficult to pull apart. I totally understand what you're saying. Actually, the first time I bought it, I couldn't use two of them because they they stuck together together so bad, I could not use them at all. All right, let's try to find some Sesame Street balloons to use. Okay. I, I wish these were separate. Should I get like a a balloon character of like Big Bird? <laughs> Elmo face. I like the Elmo face. That's fun. The kids would love that. All right, I'm gonna get this Elmo face, and I'm gonna show you guys how I remove like the backdrop off of images on Canva. You have to have the the pro version in order to like remove backdrop from images. I'm trying to find a big bird balloon. I'm, I gotta probably type it in. How long have I been live? I don't know. All right. <laughs> These are so cute. Oh, I like this one. It's not separate.
You guys, what is like one theme that you're you really would like to get booked for? Let me know in the comment section. Like, there's this one theme that you always wanted to do, but you never got booked for it. For me, it was like always like a pastel rainbow theme. I've always wanted to do one of those themes and next month I have literally two events like a week apart with the same exact theme. I got to find a way to make them different, but I'm super excited to do them. I've always wanted to do that. All right. I cannot find any like big bird balloons. I found one, but it's not like a clear image and it's going to look too ugly on the garland. Full seal and install. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Like orb balloons or a mixture of orb and like latex balloons. Alice in Wonderland, recreate my safari theme with more props and custom stuff and the belly theme. Mm. Alice in Wonderland, that's cute. Oh yeah, she said, recreate my safari theme. There are so many of my events that I would love to create now that I have like more knowledge of stuff. Like I wish I could, I could probably make that like a little series on my YouTube channel. Like try to like, you know, recreate some of my old events. I'd be looking at some of my old events like, mm, why did I do that? <laughs> like we be, we be critiquing our work more than anyone else in this world. But there's so many of my um work that i want to recreate so i got this elmo backdrop off of google and the background is already removed so that's good i'm gonna just leave it at one side right there but it's going somewhere on this garland baby and i also have the elmo street sign the sesame street street sign i want to try to like replace the sesame street with like somebody's name like a happy birthday or something yes it's so true right like when you do an event and then you go home and you're looking at the picture and it's like oh my god why did i make that balloon that big or why would i put the balloon right there but whole time the client don't even care but then there we are i was like Oh my gosh, I want to change this. Or I wish I could go back and just fix that one balloon. Or I wish I shaped the garland different, like all the time. So I have this image from Google, the Sesame Street image, and I'm gonna move, remove the backdrop. This ver this this feature is not available on the free version of Canva. You have to have the pro version. So I'm clicking on the image and then you'll see under en edit image, remove backdrop. So I'm just going to click it and it's going to remove the backdrop. Sometimes it removes all of the backdrop and sometimes it leaves a little bit. Oh, mm, nice. Mm. Okay, so it's probably going to be a little bit difficult for me to... <laughs> what am I doing? Why did I do this? Okay. I, it was it would probably be easy for me to all right let me see if google has like a blank sesame street sign <laughs> because how am i gonna replace that with the oh wow all right perfect let's do this a blank sesame street sign i'm gonna um 
yeah should i get the one with the one two three or just get a completely blank one hmm maybe i could get a completely blank one and like put happy birthday or hbd right yeah no all right i'm gonna get the one with the one two three it, it's <laughs> I oh, know I'm crazy. All right, get in the blank one, guys. Get in the blank one. Why did Why didn't I search that at first? I'm trying to make things harder out here for myself, child. All right, I'm gonna remove the backdrop, the background from this one again. Just removing the white. There we go. Ooh, that is so cute. All right, I'm gonna make this wider so I can get closer to the backdrop. Okay, stay right there. All right, I'm gonna make this little sign smaller. Actually, I'm gonna just, hmm, should I? I don't know, maybe not like put it right there make it a little smaller and put it like right there what y'all think yeah <laughs> and then i'm gonna just add like should i put it lower like in the middle or let it stay right there i like my signs high because when when they're taking pictures in front of the backdrop then they, they more likely won't cover the sign if it's higher. But if it's lower and they stand in front of it to take pictures, then they're definitely gonna cover the sign. Hence why I like my signs higher. All right. So I'm gonna use somebody in the comments name. Oh, but these are grown people. Maybe I shouldn't do that, right? Cause this is like a, a kid's theme. So I'm gonna use a kid. What would I name my daughter? All right, I'm gonna put Sabrina. <laughs> if I have a daughter, her name might be her name might be Sabrina. So I'm gonna put Sabrina as the the kid's name. A little smaller and a tad bit higher. All right, I'm doing what you say. A little smaller. All right. Mm, can't see it. All right. All right. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna just use a cute font and type in the fake kid name, my fake daughter name. What font does Sesame Street use? Oh, they use like a simple font. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Probably use the same things. All right.
changing the color to white. Yeah. Okay. That is cute. <laughs> that is it right there. Yeah. It looks like the Sesame Street sign for real, for real. Okay. All right. In reality, guys, I will prob I'm going to, I would, because this is not a real theme, I would, like, make the bottom down here, like, a little wider or whatever. But this is just a simple little mock-up just to show you guys. I'm going to add this little Elmo character on, on the garland. Probably not put it on red because it's already red. So probably like on the blue or the yellow or in between both. Make sure that you pull it forward. Okay, why is it all the way back there? Okay, that's good. There's a lot going on on my computer right now. It's like, it's, it's freezing. Okay, guys, I, I don't think I can get a big bird balloon character. So I need another character. What what other Sesame Street character you guys want me to use? What is this? Why is it, am I missing a balloon? Why is that space so empty right here? Okay, better. All right. <laughs> Cookie Monster. No, I feel like Cookie Monster is a theme in its own self, so I'm going to just not use that. Mm. There's another one right here. Oh, I wish I could get Bert and Ernie, like separately from that little thing. Abby. Okay. Oh, and it's for a girl. So this is perfect. All right, let's see what I can find. <clears throat> oh, I like the bird head too. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna just, I'm probably just No, I think you spell her name correct. See what they work their way over here. All right, I might have to use this one. Oh, and it's an anagram belongs to. Period. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna choose another one. So I have three in total. I might choose the the Bert character balloon. And it's also is it anagram? I'm not sure. Okay. All right, I have two more characters. Bert and Abby. Almost done here, guys. Should I go live again to create mock-ups like some other time in the week or just randomly on some days? Because I kind of like doing them. They're fun. And plus, I have events coming up. I... I have mock-ups to do, so I can just go live and do them. Okay, removing the, the background from these balloons. Whoa, what happened? How did she end up back there? <laughs> what the hell? Didn't I just remove the background from these things? <sighs> the computer is not used to this live stream situation, so it's it's like acting up. Are you kidding me? And pull that to the front. I feel like it fits perfectly up here because she's like looking like a a fairy but it's only right she's on top Oh, I know who you're talking about. I think he um he reached out to me some a while ago for me to like get do a tutorial on it, but <laughs> when I realized that it was PVC and I actually had to buy the go to like Home Depot and purchase the PVCs and cut it myself. And I was like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I do not think so. I I just, I cannot create a tutorial on something that I, I'm actually not interested in. A lot of times I get like offers, sponsorships and stuff or collaboration for some things and if if I know I won't like be interested in it and I won't be able to 
give you guys like a good tutorial, then I just don't accept the offer. And and that was one of it. I do not work with PVC and I thought it was like you purchase it on Etsy and they send you everything. But it wasn't like that. I would have to actually go to the store and purchase all of the materials for something that I will probably never use again. Just for the sake of a tutorial. I don't I I, I don't I wasn't feeling that at all. All right, guys. So this is it. I'm not really feeling these foil balloons at all. Yeah, maybe I should make them smaller because in reality, they wouldn't cover two whole clusters. So I feel like I just did too much. But do you guys have any more questions before I end this live? Thank you so much for joining. It was fun. I would definitely do this again, probably um, this week for sure. If I have some extra time, I'll probably come on here and do another mock-up, another theme. But thank you all so much for participating. All right, you guys, that is all. <laughs> you guys are welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'll definitely try to go live again this, this week, but I was really testing it out because I would like to go live more often in the future talking to you guys, you know, interacting more with you guys, because a lot of you guys don't really know me. You guys just know that I make balloon mosaic tutorials, but I'm trying to do better. But now that I know that this live works, I'll just buy the membership from that website, and then I'll go live more often for you guys. It was really fun. Thank you so much for your kind words as well. I appreciate it. Have a good day, you guys. Bye.